welcome to My Moment, the best channel for makeup and hair tutorial and also products review. Today I'm going to do a battle between this Tarte Shape Tape. On the left side I have the original Tarte Shape Tape that I always use and love. On the right this is a new one which is the Tarte Ultra Creamy. So technically this is going to be a more hydrated side. And I'm excited to see which one is better since the price is pretty much the same. Also with the naked eye it's really hard to see whether the product's going to look good or not. So I'm going to use this mini telescope to tell me what my skin look like. So let's get started. See, So as you can see, I already applied some of my makeup, which is the foundation, and also did my eye. I always use chart shape tape to contour my face. You want to pick a two shade lighter than your skin tone because you want to brighten up a certain area, especially under your eyes, your forehead, your cupid bow, and also your chins. And today I'm going to use a Tarte Ultra Creamy and apply in that area and not going to use the original one since I've been using that a lot of time. By the way, I'm using two concealers that in the same shade, which is light neutral. I'm going to start out with the Ultra Creamy first. I'm just going to apply one swipe under my eyes and also on the side. Then I'm going to move on to the Cupid Bow to brighten up that area, make it more plump. Then I'm going to apply right under my chin, creating a small triangle. With the same Ulta Creams concealers, I'm also going to apply on my forehead. I'm going to draw a straight line and also two lines on the side. I'm not going to blend it in into one minute because I definitely want the product to sit. So it's time for me to go ahead and blend the products in. On the right side, as you can see, this is the uh, Ulta Creamy. So uh, as I can see right now that it's really easy to blend it out and what I like to do is using the tip of this beauty sponge and really dig in uh, the wrinkle so it's going to be packed with products so it's not going to show much of my baggy eyes wrinkles and also dark circles so I'm just going to use a dapping motion closely together and try to blend it out it is super easy to blend, very smooth, and I don't have a hard time of blending it at all. So what I like to do is basically bring up the products that is left over right on the side of my hairline, but it's going to be going up instead of going sideways. Using a tapping motion and keep blending until everything looks flawless. Okay, I'm also going to work on my left side to see how it goes. And I'm going to try to blend it and bring it sideways. Really try to push the tip of this beauty sponge and pressing the products in under my eyes. This is going to help to fill in the gap of your wrinkle, so make sure to really press it in. Definitely a little bit harder to blend because it's not as creamy, but does not mean that it's not going to blend well. You definitely have to work at it more than on the right side. Then I would begin blending out the cupid bow and I found it's much easier whenever I press my lip together. And since this product, it is a ultra cream, the product sat there for more than two to three minutes, but it was able to shift around until I set the products with powder so it will not shift anywhere. But it's super easy to blend and I did not need to use any force to move the products to the directions that I want. Versus when I use the regular concealer, it gave me a hard time to really blend out the products if it has sat there for a long time. I really need to tuck and pull for the products to move. And I have to admit that the Ultra Creamy is so fast and easy to really blend it out versus the original one because it is very smooth. This is a very standard rules. So whenever you apply concealer, you definitely have to set it with a translucent powder. Since it's not able to set itself, it's going to shift anywhere and it's going to dig right onto your wrinkle. So especially under your eyes, if you are going to use a concealer, you definitely have to set it because is going to show creases everywhere throughout the day. I'm going to use this Air Sponge Loose Face Powder paired with a Beauty Blender Puff. And I'm going to use the tip of it and going to put the powder right on this cap and take the Power Puff on the tip especially and grab some of the translucent powder and I'm going to press it in. 
like this. Once again, we are using the technique of pressing it in to fill any gap and also this is going to help the wrinkle fill in so it's going to look smooth like a baby butt. This technique here is also called baking which means that you want to apply a thin layer of the translucent powder. You don't need a lot but definitely it's going to cover up that area which is going to brighten up once you leave the products in for 1 to 2 minutes. You don't need a lot because it's going to dry out and it's going to cause more wrinkles. You want to add translucent powders where you are applying concealers because this is going to help to set the products in and it's not going to ship around throughout the day and it's also a nice add-in to brighten up certain areas. And lastly, I'm not going to forget to apply the translucent powders on my chin and also on my cupid bow because that's where I just applied concealer earlier. Make sure to wait at least 1-2 to two minutes before you're going to dust off the translucent powder with a face brush. I'm just going to use this and swipe away any excess that did not stay into my skin. I don't want to set it for too long because this is going to give me a flashback whenever I'm taking picture using a flash. Then what I like to do is actually apply all over my face with the leftover. I did not pick up any more translucent powder. It's whatever is going to be my face, I'm just going to apply all over because this is going to help to suck any oil that is going to show throughout the day. So after I apply concealers and also translucent powder, now it's time to check out to see if there's any major difference. So first thing that I have to admit that it's going to be a great coverage, it is really smooth. It does not look like a second layer on top of my skin which is really amazing. And the thing that I can see that on the right side, my wrinkle is less noticeable than my left side. I can see there is a little uh, crease more than on the right. But anything else, I don't see a major difference. But whenever I try to blend, definitely the creamier is going to win the race. It was really nice and smooth out to blend instead of really poking myself and try to make the products move. This one, it will shift and move with you until the products is really set and it plays and whenever you apply concealers in. I'm pretty sure my naked eye were not able to see the true. So I have to bring my friend in. This is a mini microscope to see right in your skins. And let's see if there's any major difference that it pick up that I could not able to see. So this is the first time I ever tried to use this product. Apparently you have to connect to the Wi-Fi and click on the app in order to see. I basically don't know what I'm doing. Don't we all don't know what we're doing? Just basically like fake it till we make it. Okay, I think we are in. Yes, I'm going to do a video. And where am I? I can't see anything. Okay, let's check to see on my right. Oh my gosh, this is what my skin looked like under a microscope. Oh, why there's yellow? Interesting. It's like, it's brightened up that area, but in the color yellow. And apparently that I tried to blend it really well, but I can see that the yellow colors basically sit between the crap or the wrinkle that I have. I don't know, but at least the foundation look blended pretty well. Um, I have a lot of glitters that fall under my eyes since I use a, a glitter eyeshadows. It's just fall right under there, that's why. That's why you see a little speck of it. Oh, look at that hair. Oh, I did not know I have hair on the side of my face. I mean, right here, yeah, but not right here though. Interesting. So I'm going to place it right under my eyes again. Ooh, look at that. It's so interesting. Oh, 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 hey, hello, I saw something. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Hello friends, I have a little hair right under my eyes, interesting. Okay, let's check on the right since it's not a major thing. That's what I see, okay. On the left side, it's, very, it's drying. Oh my gosh, look at that. It is drying. Um, oh yeah, 
Oh yeah. Oh man, it look like my skin about to peel. Oh, that don't look good. On the side. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's like a desert. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like a freaking desert. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, under the microscope, I can definitely tell the difference that it is super dry under my eyes, which guarantee throughout the day is going to show some of the um, crease since it's really dry. Look at that. Like, this place is like, it looks so bad right under between my eyes. Oh my gosh, this part is hilarious. Oh my gosh, look at that wrinkle. Can you see it? It is just really bad. Well, jumping into the second day, and apparently I did not get to finish the products review today, so I'm going to be here and do the closing for you guys. Plus, I got a chance to wear for eight hours, so I can see the difference at the end of the day. Unfortunately, I did not have a picture to show you, but today I did use the Tarte Ultra Creamies to do my makeup, and it's just like absolutely amazing. It is melt like a dream, really easy to blend, and then it'll just look great, and it felt like you know one layer of skin instead of two layer because you actually use a concealer on top of the foundations and this is definitely my moment of proof if you did not know the driest area on your face is actually your under eyes that's why they have products that specialize for your under eyes because it's going to be a thicker paste and it's going to help to moisturize and hydrate so your wrinkle will not show prominent especially whenever you apply makeup on it's going to dry that area of skins so using this the ultra creamies concealer does help a lot. This product is my moment proof. I absolutely enjoy it. If this was sitting on the shelf, I will go ahead and grab the Tarte Ultra Creamies versus this one because I really enjoy how smooth it looks and looking flawless. I hope you found this video helpful. There's another two video waiting for you to click. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for more notifications, and be part of the family. If you have any questions or concerns, definitely comment down below and let me know. And as always, love yourself. Stay motivated. Peace out.